So dealing with patient loss, in my opinion, is one of the most difficult aspects of being a physician. How do you cope with that? Losing anyone is quite devastating. I mean, it is one of the most difficult challenges for any human being, even doctors. I, I, my best friend lost his mother very early in his, um, when he was you know, growing up. And seeing that at close contact, you always think, oh, God, death is horrible, which is what it is. And when you become a doctor, your first failed cardiac arrest, I'm sure you know what cardiac arrest is, where you try to bring these people back in. But when you fail on it, you, you feel as if you've, you've not done your best. And... Uh, it is always hard to cope up and I think my first one is really heartbreaking. I, was like, what? I couldn't help this guy. I'm not going to talk to his family. It takes its toll in ways that you can't really imagine until you kind of go through it. It will manifest its ways in, in, in so many aspects of your life. It will, it will come back to you in moments where, where you're... It, it will just return to you in, in moments that you least expect it. Obviously something that's inevitable. Um, something that everyone faces and obviously is really difficult to deal with and I'm not really sure it does get much easier and um, I think you, you find ways of learning to, to cope with it but every time you lose a patient particularly one that you know well or that you've looked after for a while and um, it is really upsetting. It's easier when someone's had a long life and when they've accepted it themselves and um, that's then but when it's somebody who's, when it's an early death, or even worse, when it's a child, that, that's that's when it's 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 hard. Um, especially now that I've, you know, when you have family yourself, you start to think, oh, what if this was mine? You, sometimes you go to the hospital, you feel the doctors are immune to this. They're actually not. They are learning to cope with it. They mourn for a bit, but they know go to the next patient because the next patient is someone they want to save. Similarly, they go to the next, next, next. But as a doctor, you, you, you just need to learn, you will learn to cope with it. You will start thinking about it because you need to understand that you will be, there are many more people waiting for you to help save them, help them get through what they have and get them out of the hospital better. I think all doctors understand that death has become an inevitable side effect of our profession. You would see a lot more of that in the hospital than in the public place. But you also have to take the courage on and go talk to the patient's relatives explaining what happened. And that requires a lot of courage as well immediately after this. Uh, as a registrar, as a consultant, if I'm, um, if I've seen a F1 who's first time witnessed a failed cardiac arrest and upset, I just give them a break, tell them to go recompose themselves, and but come back uh, because they have patients waiting for them for them uh, to help them out. So I, I think we have to realize that yes. It is heartbreaking. It might not be a personal loss, but it is a loss. But you save hundreds. And if you if you keep that going in your mind, you probably will cope better. And I think the main advice I would give in this case is just giving yourself permission to feel upset and to feel the emotions that you have, whether you know whether you feel angry, just really sad, um, just reminding yourself that you are human and it's normal to have these emotions and you should allow yourself to feel them. We all want to maintain face, particularly when we're at work. We don't want to, to be seen to be kind of overly emotional, if, if that's even a thing. But I think it's important to, to not fall into that trap and to just acknowledge these, these feelings that we have, because it's a really difficult thing to have to deal with. It's part of life, you accept it. You have to know we're not we're not superheroes. Death is going to happen, and and sometimes we can we can avert it. Sometimes we can't. If some deaths do stay with you, you just keep going, and um, and and time heals, and then yeah. But it's part of the way of life, unfortunately. And again, um, I think it's important to talk to other people about it as well. Um, quite often, in a hospital environment. If you're dealing with a patient loss, other people around you'll be dealing with the same thing. Um, so it's helpful a lot of the time to, to speak to colleagues, obviously maintaining confidentiality and not having a chat about it on the bus or whatever, but just um, taking the time to kind of re reflect on things and how you're feeling. Um, and in some places they've even got a, like a chaplaincy service and 
they'll specifically gear that towards helping healthcare professionals deal with, with grief and patient loss. Um, so that would be my advice on that. I think it's something that you develop over time. I don't think you ever really get used to it. I don't think you really normalise it ever. I think it's something that you get more accustomed to the way that it makes you feel. Um, it is one of the most difficult things. I don't really have a, have a clear answer for you.